Knight, Jaquay, out of four. We are underway in heat one. Mike Knight leads us out of two. Logan Jaquay coming strong down the back. Shoot, Matt Tiff with a run in that 57. Tiff down low, Jaquay in the middle. Mike Knight up high. Coming out of four, lap one goes to Hollywood. Mike Knight quickly pulling away from the field. Oh, Logan Jaquay gets all squirrely in one and two. That's gonna send Daryl Bozzard over the berm. And the yellow flag is out. And Greek flag waves, we are back of the way in heat one. Mike Knight quickly pulls away at a two. Matt Tift has a good run down on the bottom of that 57. He will get by Jaquay. Can he make it official at the line? Yes, he will move Matt Tift in the second. Brian Montgomery holding on to that fourth and final transfer position. Daryl Bowser trying to make up some ground. And at the line, Logan Jaquay barely edges out. Ryan Montgomery for third. A good battle for third, brewing up between Ryan Montgomery and Logan Jaquay. Daryl Bozzard getting in the conversation. Montgomery going to pull away from Jaquay and Bozzard. Jaquay coming right back, a little bit of contact between Montgomery and Jaquay. Didn't really look to upset either one of them. As we have reached the halfway point in this one, it has been all Mike Knight from the drop of the green. Bozzard works by Jaquay. Bozzard holding on to that fourth and final transfer position now. Popsicle sticks in the air, two laps are made for Mike Knight. They are all spaced out right now. It is Mike Knight, Matt Tip, Ryan Montgomery, Daryl Bozzer, your transfers. Coming out of four, white flag in the air, final time around for Mike Knight. Mike Knight has put that 9K into cruise control, rolling down the back chute. Into three and four for the final time. Checkered flag is in the air. Mike Knight take ruck, takes rocket chassis, heat race number one. Matt Tiff second. Ryan Montgomery third. Daryl Bozzard rounds out your top four. So your top four in this one. Fourth of 22B of Daryl Bozzard. Third, the 12 of Ryan Montgomery. Second, the 57 of Matt Tiff. And ladies and gentlemen, in the Briggs Transport, Knight, op Knight Operating Services, Chuck Frank Racing, Jay's Auto Wrecking, Ottoways Auto Body, Knight Vineyards, special thanks to Jeff Farrell, Clements Powered, Rocket Chassis, it's M Hollywood, Mike Knight. Rolling into the Jay's Automotive starting zone, Buzel, Zarin, we are underway in heat two. Buzel has the upper hand over Zarin, coming out of two, down the back chute. Buzel leads us into turns three and four. Zarin working the high side, trying to make something work. Out of four, Logan Zarin takes lap number one. Andy Buzel coming right back down on the bottom. Buzel's making it work down low. He slides up the track in front of Zarin. Move Andy Buzel to the lead. Logan Zarin down low has the upper hand. Zarin and Buzel switch lines there. Move Logan Zarin back to the lead. A barn burner here in Kaiser Racing Wheels. Heat race number two. Andy Buzel trying to come back. Buzel down low. Zarin back up to the top. Out of four. It is still Logan Zarin.
Logan Zarin now pulling away from Andy Buzel. Jason Jenko reeling in Andy Buzel for second. Two laps remain for Zarin. Jenko might have something for Buzel here in the late portions. Buzel better at it too, working down the back shoot. White flag in there, final timer out. Rolling down the back shooting to three and four for the final time. Checkered flag in the air. Logan Zaren takes Kaiser Racing Wheels, heat two. Andy Buzel second, Jason Jenko third. Tyler Emery rounds out your top four. Rolling into the Jays Automotive starting zone. Max Blair, Dave Hess. We are underway in heat three. Leads us headed to Dave S has got a good run in that 44 down low. Making it work door-to-door, wheel-to-wheel through three and four. Out of four, who's it gonna be at the line? Left one goes to Dave S. Hess now gonna pull away from Blair down the back chute. Cole wants her around in turn two. That'll bring the yellow flag out. Rolling into the Jays Automotive starting zone. We are back underway. Dave Hess leads us out of two, quickly pulling away from Max Blair and Greg Oaks. Hess pulling away from Blair. Your top four all Longhorns. Hess quickly getting a comfortable lead over Max Blair. Greg Oaks working the bottom, trying to make something work. Yellow flag is out, that is Cole Wanzer again. Cole Wanzer parked in the middle of turns three and four side. Rolling into the Jays Automotive starting zone. And Greek flag is back out. Hess quickly pulling away once again. Max Blair has a good advantage over Greg Oaks for second. Douglas Eck barely holding on to that final transfer spot over Brayden Santee. Santee working the high side, he'll pull away from Eck. Move Brayden Santee into that fourth and final transfer position. Laps remain for Dave Hess Jr. Coming out of four, white flag in the air, final time around. Cruising down the back shoot into three and four for the final time. Checkered flag in the air. Dave S. Jr. picks up heat race number three. Max Blair second. Greg Oates third. Braden Santee rounds out the top four. So your top four in this one. Fourth, the nine of Braden Santee. Third, the 22 of Greg Oaks. Second, the 111 of Max Blair. And ladies and gentlemen, in the chew on this jerky, Johnson's Car Care Collision, Everhard Asphalt, Amsoil, Gary and Bonnie Newbauer, Genesis Shocks and Martin Dynamics, Franklin Racing Supply, Bay of Headers 955 Automotive, Chubb Frank Racing, Longhorn Chassis, out of Waterford, PA, it's the Wizard Dave Hess. Ryan Scott, Chubb Frank into the Jays Automotive starting zone, and we are underway in Bay of Headers Heat 4. Here comes Chubbzilla down the back shoot. 
Out of four on lap number one, who will it be? It will be Ryan Scott. Chubb Frank second, Michael Lake third, Brandon DeBrayclear holding on to that fourth and final transfer position. Chubb Frank with a run down the back chute. Running that bottom line through three and four. Coming out of four at the line, it's barely Ryan Scott over Chubb. Ryan Scott slips up in turn two. Chubb Frank going to take advantage of that. Scott coming back on the high side through three and four. At the line, Ryan Scott, still your heat race leader. Chubb Frank sticking with Ryan Scott down the back chute. Chubb going to shift up the track as we are halfway through this one. Ryan Scott slips up again. He bounces back coming out of two. Ryan Scott looking solid on the high side. Holding off a National Dirt Late Model Hall of Famer. Here comes Chubb, door to door, wheel to wheel, down the back chute. Ryan Scott with the upper hand into three and four. Michael Lake gets squirrely, he's gonna lose some real estate. Two laps remain for Ryan Scott, can he hold off? Coming out of four, white flag in the air, final time around for Ryan Scott. Oh, Chubb's got to run down the back chute for the final time. Door to door, wheel to wheel. A thriller into three and four for the final time. Out of four, who's it going to be? It'll be Ryan Scott. Chubb Frank second, Michael Lake third, Brandon DeBray clear. Rounds out your top four. So your top four in this one. Fourth, the D1 of Brandon to break clear. Third, the 27 of Michael Lake. Second, the one star of Chubb Frank. And ladies and gentlemen, out of Pittsfield, PA, your heat race winner, Ryan Scott. And I am now going to hand it back. You can fire anywhere in between those two signs over there. Green flags out. We're underway. Steve Rex gets the early jump going into turns one and two. Matt Alexander trying the top side. He's got a customer on the inside. Hess makes the move down the bottom. Hess gets two for the price of one going in turns three and four. He'll lead lap number one coming out of turn four. Hess leads lap one. Alexander second. Steve Rex third. Richard Michael started at the tail. Now up to four. Throws it really hard into turns one and two. Richard Michael up three spots here on lap one. Lap number two going to go to Hess. Hess is your leader, Alexander in second. Richard Michael starts to put the charge on the third spot. Steve Rex was last year's point champion here at Erie's. He's running the middle of the outside group. Richard Michael hooked down on the bottom, battles for third. Michael takes the third spot, he'll cross the line. Richard Michael now up to third from his seventh starting spot. Steve Rex still also getting a challenge from Kyle Layton. Kyle Layton in fifth, tries to put the charge on the bottom. He'll get past the 27R, Steve Rex. Halfway being shown here, four laps in, four laps remaining for the driver out of Waterford. Dave S. Jr.'s got a good lead. Battle starting to shape up for the second spot here between Richard Michael and Matt Alexander. Richard Michael putting all kinds of pressure on second. Matt Alexander loses it a little bit sideways over there, gathers it back up here. Two flags to go, two more times around for Dave Hess Jr. Richard Michael now up to second. Alexander falls back to third. Kyle Layton trying to look to the inside of Alexander. Alexander shut the door. Huge size lead here, 4 to 44. Takes the white flag one more time around for Dave Hess Jr. Richard Michael. Comfortably in second, Matt Alexander third, Kyle Layton's worked his way up to fourth. Dave S. Jr. is going to bring it out to turn four and pick up heat race number one for the Niemeyer's Garage UMP Modified.
So Matt Alexander in the 77 was third. Richard Michael in the 17X comes all the way from the tail to second. And your winner in the 44, Dave Hess Jr. Dave Spawn while coming to turns three and four, gonna take the green. Green flags out, we're underway. Jason Brightman, Eric Reinwald, they're going to go side by side in turns one and two. Reinwald's got the momentum on the outside. They're side by side down the back stretch. Joel Watson, eye on the party here. We'll see who's going to lead lap number one. Lap number one coming out of turn four. Going to go to the 72 of Reinwald. Reinwald's got the upper hand on the outside. He'll take the early lead. Jason Brightman working really good on the outside there. Joel Watson thinking about making this one go three wide. Ryan Wolf comes out of turn four as the leader. Brightman in second. Joel Watson in third. Jason Brightman takes another look to the inside of Ryan Wall. Nothing doing coming out of turn two. Joel Watson all over the 16 here. Good race. Heat race number two here. Eric Ryan Wall holding them off as Brightman second. Joel Watson third. Bud Watson now trying to get in there. Top four cars all pretty close. Reinwald now one two-car length lead over Brightman. Joel Watson trying to find his way around Brightman. Now Bud Watson going to look to the inside of Watson. Watson shuts the door on Watson. Five laps in the books, three laps remaining. Battle again for the second spot. Brightman holding on. Joel Watson wants that second spot. He digs deep down to the inside here. He's got some momentum down on the bottom. Two flags in the air, two more times around for Reinwald. Reinwald since is breaking away a little bit as the second and third place car keep battling here. Watson now looks to the inside of Brightman. They'll go side by side down the back stretch. Watson and Brightman. Side by side coming out of turn four, white flags out, battles for second, Brightman still had it there, he tries to cut down low here, Watson right there, Joel Watson's got the upper hand coming out of turn two, they'll go into three and four side by side, Reinwald's going to pick up the victory, second's going to go to Joel Watson, Jason Brightman's going to hold on to that third spot. So Jason Brightman able to hold on to third. Joel Watson in 92 was second. And your winner in the 72 will be Eric Reinwald. And just like that, it's time for the ULMS qualifying. Okay. In the 99B, David Parker picked up the feature win here on Father's Day in the Purple Deuce. TJ Downs in the 03. Andy Michael in the 17X. Cole Wanzer, driver pulling double duty. Scott Gerdak and Steve Hauser is in the field here. Lap number one, gonna go to the 36 of Ian Travis. Travis leads lap one. Parker's worked his way up to second. David Parker picked up the win here Father's Day. He's now in second. Andy Michael in third. Andy Michael has a feature win here. And here he's now up to third. So David Parker has taken the lead here on lap five in here. Three laps remaining. Andy Michaels worked his way up to second. Scott Gerdak has worked his way up from the back, now in third. Two flags in the air, two more times around for the purple deuce of Parker. Parker picking up where he left off. 
Good size lead for the Purple Deuce of Parker. He'll take the white flag here one more time around for David Parker. Andy Michaels in second, Scott Gerd at third. And Travis Boyd. So Scott Gerdak in the 5G was third, Andy Michaels in the 17X was second, and your winner in the Purple Deuce, it's David Parker out of St. Clairville, New York. Flags out, we're underway. Green is out, battles on for the lead here, chest down on the bottom, Crotty trying to make the top work. Bobby Rohr in the 11 there on the back bumper of Crotty. Lap number one gonna go to the eight of Andrew Chess, Andrew Chess leads lap one. Battle goes on for second here. Bobby Rohr working the bottom here. He'll get to the inside of Crotty. Rohr takes the second spot from Crotty. Jacob Peterson in fourth gear, Young's fifth. Chess comes out of turn four. For lap number two, Chess your leader. Rohr now trying to see if he can work around the eight. Bobby Rohr's got some momentum coming out of turn two. He'll look to the inside of Chess. Chess got a little bit of a push in turns three and four, opens the door for Roar, but he'll hold on. Chess holds on to lap number three. One lap shy of the halfway point here, but we got a race for the lead. Bobby Roar's got it this time. Good run out of turn two, he'll take the lead. Bobby Roar goes into turn three and four, is gonna lead the halfway point here. Four laps in, four laps remaining. Chess not getting through the turns real good there in turns one and two. He opens the door for Karate. Karate now takes his second spot. Chess falls back to third. Bobby Roar's got the 11 machine groove down to the bottom here. Five laps in, three laps remaining. He's now got the four machine cruising around the bottom on here at Erie's two flags are in the air. Bobby Roars with the lead, but Karate's now got the four car screaming along here. We'll see if he can mount a charge here with the final laps remaining. Roar kind of misses the turn a little bit there. Karate not able to capitalize here. White flag in the air. One more time around four to 11 of Bobby Roar. Bobby Roar is going to seal the deal here to take up heat race number two for the Hammond Motors Rush Late Models. So Andrew Chess in the 8th seal will finish third. Shane Karate will have to settle for that second spot in the four. And your winner in the 11, it's Bobby Roar. Jumbled. So Kyle Zerman takes advantage of the jumble lineup here. He'll take the early lead. Santee now in second. Lap one's gonna go to the 31 of Kyle Zerman. Kyle Zerman leads lap one. Santee second. Jinko now in third. Jinko pulling double duty here tonight. Santee trying to find some real estate down on the bottom of Zerman. Zerman shuts the door here. Two laps in. Six laps remaining for the 31 of Kyle Zimmerman. Zimmerman has a good run coming out of turn two. Santee in second, Jinko third. Zimmerman comes out of turn four at the halfway point here. Four laps in, four laps remaining for Zimmerman. Santee able to hang with the 31 car there. Hanging with him is one thing, passing maybe another here. Kyle Zimmerman holding that bottom line. Santee trying to find some real estate here. Five laps in, three laps remaining. 
Looks like Tyler Federico in the 26 Junior is going to take a pit side here. His battle for the lead shapes up. Santee found some real estate on the bottom. Zimmerman able to hold him off here. Two flags in the air, two more times around. Can Zimmerman hold him off? Santee goes outside, dies back down. He's got some real estate down on the bottom. Zimmerman again shuts the door coming out of turn two. White flag in the air one more time around. Jason Jinko's gonna throw his hat in the party. Top three cars, you can put a blanket over them. We'll see how this one pans out. Santee now looks to the outside. Jinko looks to the inside of Santee. Coming out of turn four, the win's gonna go to Zimmerman. Battle goes for second. Santee's gonna hold on to second and Jinko third. Some pretty close racing for them top three spots, but Jason Jinko's going to finish third in the 29J. Finishing second will be the nine of Brayton Santee. And your winner in the 31, it's Kyle Zimmerman. Cody Stronghart in the 36, Alan Brewer Jr. in the 40, Ariana Samuelson in the 9G, and Dave Sagla Jr. in the 6. Green flag is out. Ellers pulling away here, picking up where he's been laying down here. Ellers got three, four car lengths going in turns three and four, and he's gonna take lap number one. Simon in second. See, Simon started fourth now in second. Cody Stronghart also moving up there in the third spot. Stronghart started in the fifth spot, now up to third. So a couple guys going towards the back, couple guys going towards the front here, but Zach Eller staying right where he started on the pole. Two laps in here. Two laps in for the 99E is Zach Eller, Steve Simon in second, Stronghart third, Shagla up to fourth. Looks like trouble for the 40 of Alan Brewer. Lex to stay on the track here. comes out of turn four is going to take the halfway here four laps in four laps remaining for Zach Eller. Eller's got a good size lead over the one S of Steve Simon. Steve Simon last year's point champion in the Johnson's car care collision economize. Cody Strongheart there solidly in third. Eller comes up on the 40 machine of Brewer. No trouble there. He'll go the inside. Brewer keeps the 40 machine on the outside here. Battle shaping up for second here between Steve Simon and Cody Strongheart. Simon's going to work the 40 car there. He'll go to the inside. Strongheart will follow. Strongheart gets right on the back bumper of Simon here. Two flags in the air. Two more times around. Eller's got this one in control. Simon's solidly in second here. Eller's going to take the white flag coming out of turn four. Best battle on the track is for the second spot between Steve Simon and Strongheart. Cody Strongheart running that inside groove. Simon on the outside. Strongheart digging deep down on the bottom. They'll go side to side into turns three and four. Good battle for second as Eller takes the check here. Who's going to get second place? It's going to be Simon. Steve Simon holds on to second. Good battle for second in our first heat race for the Johnson's Car Care Collision Economods. It's going to be Cody Strongheart in the 36, picking up third. Steve Simon holds on to that second spot in the 1S. And your winner in the 99E, it's Zach Eller. Zach, Dennis Lunger, and Stephen Hafke in the 39. Eight cars, eight laps, green flags out, we're underway. Olsen and Warner go side by side for the lead. They're side by side down the back stretch. Olsen throws it hard and turns one and two, pushes up a little bit. Warner's got the momentum on the outside. He's going to take lap one. Warner go, leads lap one. Harvey goes to second. Casey Harmon in third, but he's got a challenge from Den Rocker. Dennis Lunger down on the bottom. He'll take the third spot. Lunger now up to third. Calvert follows Lunger down on the bottom. He'll take fourth. Calvert's digging down deep. He'll get to the inside of Lunger. Lunger holds him off. 
Longo pushes up, opens the door to Calvert. Calvert's digging down on the bottom. They're side by side down the back stretch for third. Battles for a third on the track. Lunger using that top, the middle groove. Calvert down the bottom. Dead heat at the line. Maybe a slight advantage to Lunger there. Good race for third. Lunger loses some ground on the top side and turns one and two. Calvert now up to third. Meanwhile, Warner has got the 12 car lead here at the halfway point. Four laps in, four laps remaining. Lunker's trying that top side. He's got it rocking on the top. Olsen down on the bottom. Gary Olsen racing hard here on the bottom. He'll get to the inside of Lunger. Lunger trying to make that top side work. Not working for the 71L. Olsen gets a tap from the back there, bringing out to get some advantage here. Green flags out, we're underway. Warner is getting a challenge from Calvert back down on the bottom. Warner's got the momentum coming out of turn two. Calvert's got the 12C machine working down low. Battle of 12's coming out of turn four. Two flags in the air, two cars side by side at the line. Warner holds on. Warner still holding on by a slight advantage. Calvert now in second. Dennis Lunger here working in third. Casey Harmon having a good run in fourth. White flag's going to fly here right now for the 12 star of Warner. Calvert has got Dennis Lunger on his backside. Guys right in the very inside line there. Checker flag is going to fly for the 12 star of Brendan Warner. So finishing third from his seventh starting spot is the 71L of Dennis Lunger. Garrett Calvert in the 12C was second. And your winner in the 12 star, Brendan Warner. Brendan, sponsored by Midnard Run Oil Company, Speedway Service. It's our LD Tree Service Challengers. They're coming to green. Quite the battle up front here for the lead. Dane Arts is going to take lap number one. Camden Van Hoosier now takes the lead in the 13B. Driver's really throwing it in there. Two laps to go. Marcy now up to second in that 2M car. Billy Joe Huffman in the 234H is third. Van Hoosier picks up heat race number one for the L&D Tree Service Challenge. So Jason Kerstetter in the 187 is going to pick up third. Billy Joe Huffman in the 234H was second. And your winner from the tail, the 13V of Camden Van Hoosier.
Dave Hess Sr. showing you're never too old to have fun out there. He was really. All kinds of action in turn two. We'll see how this goes. Will Schmidt takes advantage of everybody getting all bunched together, takes the outside and takes the lead coming out of turn four. Everybody keeps it going straight. We're lap ones now in the books. Five laps remaining. Will Schmidt takes the white flag here one more time around for the five machine. So Sean Murphy in the 14M will take third. Tristan start in the eight was second, and your winner in the five will be Will Schmid. Green flags out, we're underway. Brian McGarvey's got a good size lead coming out of turn four. Andrew Smith not wasting any time. He moves the 26S up to second. Andrew Smith and Aiden O'Neill battling for second here. O'Neill using that outside line. He'll hold on to that second spot. McGarvey going to take the halfway point here. Three laps in, three laps remaining for the 60 of McGarvey. Aiden O'Neill holding off the 26S of Andrew Smith. Best battle on the track is for second. McGarvey comes out of turn four, white flag in hand. Aiden O'Neill continue to hold on to that second spot. Andrew Smith trying everything he can to get second here, but Aiden O'Neill doing quite a fine job there in second. Garvey's coming out of turn four. Checkers will greet him here. Brian McGarvey's gonna pick up heat race number three of the LD Tree Service Challengers.
So Andrew Smith in the 26S was third. Aiden O'Neill with a good run there in the 20, finishes second. And your winner in the 60, it's Brian McGarvey. Green flags out, we're back underway. Dan Bittinger and Teresa Maloney battling out for the lead there. They'll go side by side in the turns three and four. Lap number one gonna go to, I believe Dan Bittinger, very close there. Teresa Maloney continue to work the outside. Mark Lawrence looking for some space to make it three wide. Lap two, new leader, Teresa Maloney's gonna take lap two. Bittinger goes back to second. Lawrence third, they got a good gap here from third to fourth. Teresa Maloney gets a little squirrely, opens up another battle for the lead here. Three cars battling for the lead here. Maloney still with the advantage going in turns three and four. White flag's gonna come out, three car battle. Who's gonna win this one? Oh! Contact made, white flag still going. No caution, Lawrence gets the worst end of this deal. Dan Bittinger takes the lead now. Teresa Maloney back in second. Lawrence had such a big advantage, still stays in third. And here we go, coming to the checkers. Who's it gonna be? Dan Bittinger is gonna get the lead back and take the fourth and final heat race for the LD Tree Service Challengers. So Mark Lawrence in the 99 was third. Teresa Maloney's gonna have to settle for second, and Dan Bittinger will pick up the fourth and final heat race for our L&D Tree Service Town. Rolling into the Jays Automotive starting zone. b main number one takes the green. Logan Jaquay pulling away early in this one. Lap one goes to Jaquay. Von Pedman holding on to that third and final transfer position. Logan Jaquay opening up a big lead early on in this one over Doug Eck. Doug Eck holding off Bump Hedman for third. Kevin Smith and Dave Stam, the outsiders. Cross flags in the air, halfway through for Logan Jaquay. Edmund working on Doug Egg for second. Hasn't made it work just quite yet. Two laps remain for Logan Jaquay. Logan driving his Uncle Boom's car here tonight. Boom Briggs off the Lucas Oil Late Model Dirt Series tour for this for tonight. Just last night, ran in Muskingum County. White flag in the air, final time around for Jaquay.
And checkered flag in the air. Logan Jaquay takes B main number one. Doug X second. Bump Hedman takes that third and final transfer position. Zone. Douglas Eck, Wendell Pickney. We are underway in B main number two. Eck leads us at it too. Douglas Eck leading, Nick Eck battling to get in. Lap one goes to Douglas Eck. Nick Eck digging on the bottom, trying to make something work on Dylan Lewis. Dylan Lewis, a Rookie of the Year contender. Trying to make it into the show without a provisional. Move Nick Eck into that third and final transfer position. Nick Eck pulling away from Lewis. Mike Smith now going to work on Lewis. Halfway through. Douglas Eck leads us to the halfway point over Wendell Pinckney and Nick Eck. He has opened up a big lead. Douglasek and Nick Eck coming off two career best finishes last night. Nick finished second. Douglas finished third last night to Dave Hess. And Douglas Eck leading us with two laps remaining. Coming out of four, white flag in there, final time around. Coming out of four, checkered flag waves. Douglas Eck takes B-Main number two. Wendell Pickney, second. Oh, and Nick Eck up in the wall. Man, he was holding on to that third and final transfer position. And that will move Mike Smith into the third and final transfer position. I think somebody jumped the gun a little bit. I don't think he saw the yellow either. <laughs> oh. It's a little hard. <laughs> Dave Hess Sr with the early lead here. Top four will go to the feature. Car coming to a halt on the back stretch. So all of a sudden, now it's going. Lap number one gonna go to the 44, Dave Hess Sr. Halfway being shown to the old man there in the 44.
folks, let him hear it. He's coming out of turn four, going to transfer to the feature. Dave S. Sr. transfers to the feature in the 44.